first at 11, an eight foot long snake was found this morning at a local car dealership, and it's a hot topic all over social media. The albino boa constrictor surprised workers at Beach Ford in Myrtle Beach when a technician popped the hood of a car and the snake popped out. And that's when the snake chaser was called and he caught it and then he brought it by the TV station where he spoke with News 13's Adriana Lawrence. We get a lot of boa constrictors, normal ones, a lot of ball pythons that people abandon and give away, um, but not, not one of these guys. Imagine opening the hood of your car and an eight foot boa constrictor snake comes sneaking out. That's what technician Tony Gallio found when he came into work. According to the dealership service manager, Lynette Crow, the snake was hiding out in a Ford Focus. The car was left inside the shop overnight and the next morning, that's when Gallio found it. Russell Cavender, also known as the Snake Chaser, says he was in Little River headed to North Carolina when he got a call about the massive snake. He rushed back to Myrtle Beach and found the very rare 20 pound snake wrapped up near the engine. It took a little bit to get them out because they're all muscle, you know, so we had to, they, they had to remove a few pieces so we could actually physically get them out. He said albino boa constrictors are very rare and it was probably one of his most unique calls. Cavender said they're native to South America and thinks it was most likely trying to find a warm or cool dark place to rest. After looking at its condition and health, he thinks it was a pet, but it might have been on its own for a while. He wasn't properly taken care of. He's real skinny, dehydrated, you know. So I'm, I'm thinking that most likely someone just couldn't take care of it. Cavender says this is something, unfortunately, he sees a lot with these types. The problem is, is they get big and people don't expect how big they get. And they will bite. Boa constrictors are not trustworthy. Cavender says he plans to take care of it for a few days until an owner hopefully reaches out. If they do, he'll ask for them to identify things about the snake to make sure it's released to the actual owner. If not, he says he'll leave it with people who can take care of it and possibly breed it. Live in the newsroom, Adriana Lawrence, News 13.